To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. With their roots in the 13th century is a small community of hermits living on Mount Carmel in the Holy Land, the Discalced Carmelite nuns hold a special place in New Orleans history as one of the oldest orders in our city. In 1780, the first Carmelite monastery was founded in the United States in Baltimore, Maryland. By 1877, the Discalced Carmelite nuns arrived in New Orleans to establish a monastery in the French Quarter. The Carmelite community thrived on North Rampart Street, and the nuns lived there for decades. As they lived their cloistered lives of prayer and contemplation, the nuns grew their own food by planting gardens, sewed vestments and linens, and even made their own sandals, earning them the name Discalced, which means barefoot. In 1995, the nuns moved north of Lake Pontchartrain to Covington. Here they continued their way of life established by St. Teresa of Avila. In her honor, the nuns host a celebratory mass every year around St. Teresa's feast day on October 1st with the Mass of the Roses. Hundreds attend the outdoor mass and each celebrant receives a rose, symbolic of St. Teresa. After mass, desserts, table linens, and even dolls, all handmade by the nuns, are displayed for sale as a way to support the monastery. With hundreds of years behind them, little has changed for the discalced Carmelite nuns as they continue to live a life of solitude and prayer. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. <laughs>